Hi, welcome to your how to Chakaranga Dandasana with Tiffany. All right, so we're gonna get started down on the mat. So come to the knees and then press your palms to the mat and stack each wrist directly under your shoulders and step the feet back. All right, lowering the hips in line with the shoulders, firming up the core and move the heart one inch forward so you can stack the heels directly over the toes. You should feel your core activate here. Yes, so one line of energy from the crown of the head, shoulders, hips, and through the heels. Now inch forward two inches on the toes and lower down halfway. Bending the elbows to a 90 degree bend. Now very important, pull the elbows into the sides, into the rib cage, and keeping the hips above or in line with the elbows, yes. Then inhale, untuck the toes for your upward facing dog, lengthening through the spine, and then exhale, downward facing dog, lift the hips high to the sky. So you can also modify your Chaturanga Dandasana by doing it on your knees. So let's come down to the knees, but instead of having the knees right beneath the hips, we are going to move the hips a little bit forward. So the knees are behind the hips, toes are untucked. We're gonna create that long, flat, straight spine, stacking wrists under the shoulders and firming up the core. And just from here, you're gonna lower down halfway, elbows into the sides, rib cage, hips in line with the elbows. Then inhale, pop up to your upward facing dog and exhale back to your downward facing dog. So both options here are fantastic. Yeah, so that is your Chaturanga Dandasana.